Christmas Sunday Explorers. We've got so many fun things to do with you guys today. And actually, we've got um, a new kind of program, a new style that we're going to be doing with you guys today. But as always, we do here at Explorers, we're going to start with some singing with two Christmas songs sung here on the piano. So get ready to sing along, kids. We hope you enjoyed the singing. We're now going to be doing a Christmas activity. It's going, to, it's going to be a competition to see who can wrap three different books the fastest and obviously I'm going to judge if they were of any quality as well. It's just a fun competition uh, which you guys can do at home as well with your family, see who can wrap the Christmas present the fastest 
and we're going to have a timer on the laptop here of one minute, so 60 seconds, and at the end of the timer, these three contestants here, Johnny, Sammy and Lorena, have to lift up their hands in the air, uh, away from their objects, otherwise they are disqualified. If any one of you carries on rapping, you are instantly disqualified. Please make your way to the, uh, the area. One, two, three, go. Oh, stop, stop. Right, so um, all three of them didn't manage to do the second object, but we're going to now uh, verify the quality of each wrapping, starting with Johnny over here. So, let's have, let's have a look. Um, yeah, seems well wrapped here. Uh, he's used two items of sellotape. So, there we have. Sammy, uh, I have to say this is very good as well. I do apologise, maybe I didn't give you two enough wrapping paper to do the whole book, so that won't count against you. Ah, right, okay. And the third one, by Lorena as well. Um, slightly messy with the sellotape, but still a very good effort. One, two, three, go. Stop, Lauren is finished. Sam is finished. Uh, Johnny, you still have 15 seconds if you want to finish. Alright, stop. Okay, contestants, you may stand up. Okay, so in this round, Lorena was the fastest, and be quiet. Lorena was the fastest, very well wrapped, as you can see, splendid wrapping on both ends. That was the tricky bit. Um, Sammy, same here, but slightly um, exaggerated use of wrapping at the end here. Johnny, as he went through a more abstract attempt here and uh, a bit of uh, an abstract look but still the the years. very good yeah so there was some abstract thing in there maybe you guys can do that at home as well anyway so from the first round I think Sammy won that one but from the second round Lorena won that one and uh, Johnny won the award for most abstract of the lot so guys round of applause well done. And and now uh, we are going to have a story ready for you, so contestants, you can make your way around there. So guys, uh, today we have a very good story for you guys to learn. We learned all about Elisha so far, but today's story is a 
is the story before the, um, the entrance into the world of the most amazing person who has ever lived, as you'll find out. It's a story all about the birth of a man called John the Baptist. So enjoy the story, guys, and then we'll have another activity for you guys to, um, to do there at home afterwards. Enjoy the story. Well kids, we've learned a lot of stories so far this year, but in today's story, we're going to turn a few pages from the book of 2 Kings in the Old Testament all the way to the book of Luke in the New Testament. Now you may have heard of or maybe read some famous books already like the Chronicles of Narnia or the Lord of the Rings. These are some of my favourites, but my favourite of them all is by far the Bible and it was written a long, long time ago. Today's story may not be as old as the story of Elisha or Elijah, but it introduces somebody really important who helped prepare this world for the coming of the most amazing person who has ever lived. We're going to start our story with the very words written in this book. There was, in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zachariah, and his wife's name was Elizabeth. Now, kids... Unlike most people of the day, they were a very special couple because the Bible tells us that they were both righteous and blameless before God and walked in his commandments. Now that basically means they trusted in the same God of the Bible we have today in 2020 and they always tried to do the right thing. Kind of like you guys in respecting your mum and dad. But sadly kids, like a lot of stories, Elizabeth couldn't have a child. And they were both at the point of being quite old as well. Despite this, the Bible tells us they were righteous. So even though things aren't the way we want it to be sometimes, kids, we should always keep believing in the Lord, praying to him, telling him all our fears and all the different things we struggle with in life. I just remembered now, kids, of a very special verse in the Bible that says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to a mountain, move from here to there and it will move. A mustard seed is very small, kids, but even so, the Bible teaches us that we can uh, do anything if we trust in him. Nothing will be impossible for you, because the Lord can do anything and everything if only you believe. That is what we are going to learn today in this story. So, Zachariah worked at the temple, and in those days, as it was the custom of the priesthood, a priest like he was would burn incense in the temple, whilst a whole lot of people would be outside the temple praying. On a day like any other, Zachariah made his way to the temple, and as he often did, he said hello to some friends of his as he went in. Once in the temple, he began preparations to burn the incense as usual, when suddenly something amazing happened. Now, you're not going to believe what happened, kids. An angel appeared to him. The Bible tells us that he was standing right there on the right side of the altar of incense. Now, how would you feel if something like that happened to you? Well, I don't know about you, but Zachariah was really afraid. When the angel saw that he was scared, he said to him, Do not be afraid, Zachariah. And you know what else the angel said? He said, Your prayer has been heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear a son, and you shall call his name John. Think of that, kids. The angel not only said that he would be a dad, but he told him that it would be a boy and that his name would also be called John. Now, the angel even told Zachariah what John would be like in years to come. He said that many people would be happy at his birth, that he would be great before the Lord. The angel also gave him some instructions regarding John, that he would not drink wine and he should not drink any strong drink. He said good things about him as well, that he would be full of the Holy Spirit, bringing many people to God, preparing everyone for the coming of the Lord Jesus. Now that's a lot of information and Zachariah unfortunately did not believe in what the angel told him because he just thought about how old he and his wife were to have a child at this point in their lives. So because he didn't believe in him, the angel said, I am Gabriel, I stand in the presence of God. And I was sent to speak to you and to bring to you this good news. Therefore, because you have chosen not to believe in me, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things take place, which the Bible says will come to happen in the right time. 
Now, that's a shame, isn't it, kids? Because he didn't believe in the angel, he wouldn't be able to speak for months. He wouldn't be able to even tell his wife, his neighbours, his friends the good news. The Bible doesn't tell us what Zachariah was thinking on his way home. Maybe he was afraid or worried or maybe he was really happy, just looking forward to have a son soon. I reckon he had a lot of mixed feelings going on. Maybe he was replaying in his mind everything that the angel had said to him, regretting the fact that he didn't believe in the angel and in God. But you see, kids, Zachariah should never have doubted what the Lord could do. So if you ask God for something in your prayers, anything, and really believe it, if you've trusted in the Lord Jesus as your saviour, God will certainly listen to you and answer your prayer without a shred of doubt. Soon after that, the Bible tells us that Elizabeth got pregnant and for five months she kept herself hidden from the outside world but she was very, very thankful to the Lord because he answered her prayer and soon later John the Baptist was born into this world. Anyway, kids, everything happened just like the angel had told Zachariah in the temple. John the Baptist did indeed go on to prepare the way for somebody who would go on to be the saviour of the world. Someone who would go on to do far greater things than even John the Baptist. But that, kids, is a story for our next Explorers video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, we hope that you enjoyed that story. It's a really um, interesting story. I certainly learned a lot about Zachariah in that story. We're now going to be doing together a memory verse challenge, similar to the ones that you've done before, but it's more hands-on, with some papers here that are on the table. The contestants are again, Sammy, Sammy, Lorena and Johnny, but they're going to be working together as a team and we're going to be learning the first part of a verse that we're going to be learning throughout this month of December. And next, well, in two weeks time after this video, you guys will get the next part of that verse and can learn it at home. Anyway, um, it's a team activity. They'll have a timer again for 60 seconds. You guys can join in at home and they have to, in less than 60 seconds, arrange this half of a verse on the board and then they're going to say it together uh, and yeah you guys can join in at home so when you're ready guys approach yourselves to these pieces of paper here and obviously don't turn them over until the timer starts okay when you're ready one two three go <laughs> Thirty seconds. His name Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. And 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 she and 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 Two, one. Right, guys, I know you finished, so just put it on the board and that's fine. His name. Okay, it seems to be finished here, but they're just putting it onto the board here. And you shall hold it. And you shall hold it. I see. Oh, it tastes more pleasant. Step away from the board, please. Okay, so um, if, if the contestants could please recite the verse together. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Okay, and in next week's video, guys, we're going to find out where in the Bible this is found. But for now, we're just going to learn this part. So once again, the contestants are going to say it out two more times. And then we are going to have our final song of the video. When you're ready. 
She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. One more time. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Okay, I can't actually see the sun here. There we go. Right, guys, we're, uh, we are now going to sing our final song, if you'd all like to join there. <laughs> Christmas video with us today. We have got another Christmas Explorers in two weeks time, but from us here in the Renshaw family, Happy, happy Christmas! Christmas!